Hello Sagittarius, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look at current energies for the week of March 28th. I really hope you're all doing well. Just keep in mind this is general reading, so take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. And of course, check out your sun, moon and rising signs for wider information. Uh-huh, okay. So what do we have for you Sagittarius? Ten of Swords. Right, so Ten of Swords talks about you are feeling enough is enough. Okay, so no is an answer. Enough is enough is an answer. So you have come to the end of some sort of cycle because we have the set Ten. So it is an end of something. And you have definitely said enough. And it kind of has reached, you have reached your decision time because we have a death card as well, which is transformation. So I'm going to come straight to that. So something has triggered your, um, triggered you, okay? So you said, no, this is not how I want to live for anymore. And I want to change. And maybe the change starts within yourself. I'm prepared to start new chapter. Because the death card talks about, not actual death, death card talks about some sort of, it could be relationship ending, it could be some sort of um, coming out of employment that you don't like anymore. And you're prepared. You know what? I am better than that. I deserve better. And what these two cards require is action. Even tiny little steps here is definitely needed. You come to the point, okay, I need to do something. And you definitely are going to come with ideas. And we have a judgment here. And I like to see the judgment is talking about, I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to set you free. So there's definitely some sort of wave of new energies are coming in to help you to shift away from the old that you don't like, which is good. Have a look at as a good thing, okay? So you've been living in that kind of maybe energy for a while and you maybe didn't know how to get out of it. But now it's coming to the end. So this is a good, good position to be because judgment is here to set you free. Meanwhile, in this moment, while you're here in this position, be careful how you talk to yourself because it's so important to have a friend in you, have the good side, the good energies flowing, okay? So we have Six of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles talks about being generous as well, that you have a talent or anything like that that is overspilling and you are really helping other people, okay? So sometimes it could be that someone is taking advantage of it, okay? But you are nef definitely never short of um, whatever it's needed. So my as well is that you want to change your career. It doesn't seem that you are short of the finances, anything like that. It's that you want some sort of change. You're not entirely happy. And this is interesting. I, there's so many signs. See this card? Three of Wands has come up in so many signs. This is so interesting. There's literally options opening for everyone. And it's interesting because you are going to make decision, okay, uh, of probably maybe moving away or to different residency or a different state or the option is going to be so many, okay. The pos no, possibilities are going to be many. So you just need to keep, keep, keep your head strong uh, when you make decision, okay. So as you can see, this person looking on the horizon and thinking, Okay, so where this or that possibilities are going to bring me to? And just keep in mind that there's a Seven of Swords kind of energy around. And uh, it just talks about um, some game plan. So when you... <laughs> right, so maybe when you're making decisions, you want to maybe take two instead of just one. And you think, okay, I'm going to trick someone else. Keep in mind that what goes around comes around. Keep in mind that intentions and pure intentions are crucial because karma is around us. Okay, so let's see Sagittarius, what we have for you as a clarifier for you. Right, we have a jumper card here. Oh, wow. Pure intentions, boys and girls. Right, so if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section. And of course, subscribe and like as well. Um, okay. Sagittarius. Ooh. Wow. So you are clever. 
you are double clever. Like, <laughs> you have this massive kind of, I don't know, abundance. And, and you have collected so much of, you are not short of cash or anything like that, or options, or, and you're very skillful, okay? So you can change your, change your state and go somewhere else. And literally, because you're clever, you see the bird is uh, smart and intelligent. And this card talks about um, the information and, and knowledge that you have gathered along the way, which is so super interesting. And look, we have reached for the star. Never, ever be the second best. And you have massive dreams. And what you have really interesting, like higher powers are coming into play. Because this move that you are coming to, to achieve was meant to happen. Okay? And when that meant to happen is that universe is behind you. And your universe got your back. But what you need to do is keep your intentions clean and clear. See the wild bird? So your thoughts need to be clean. Your intentions need to be clear. To get the result that you want. Because this is cashing in card. Just keep in mind that if there is seven of swords kind of gameplay, so if you want to cut someone short, they're going to cut short as well. If you want to cheat in life, life is going to cheat in you as well. Just keep that in mind, my friends, Sagittarius. Let's <laughs> reach for the star. Wow. How amazing is that? Wow. I'm an angel of marriage. So it is going to be that maybe you are moving um together with someone okay and creating a new family or you're meeting someone as well because we have this card that you want to meet someone and you're reaching for the star you want to there's a dream that you want to achieve okay just if you meet someone just let them know what your boundaries are what you're made of okay and please talk communicate and don't sell yourself short okay as and don't allow other people or the person um abuse your kindness and your trust okay so wow this is really lovely earthly um heavenly and all sort of kind of lovely energies surrounding you here right so sagittarius thanks for being here and i'll see you in the next reading bye bye